he's moving. Yes, indeed, he all nine feet, five inches of him now in motion and totally ignoring the explicit lawful commands of Broward County deputies to return to the canal or else. Look, when all you have on your mind are thoughts of nibbling on a nice, juicy poodle for breakfast, then so what about the inconvenience to motorists on southbound State Road 7 north of Commercial? Frankly, my dear, he just doesn't give a damn. So don't get your knickers in a twist about being a piddly one hour late for work. Oh, there they go again, bossing him about. Hey, want your motorcycle back? Come and get it, you sissy. I walked from my house on 17th Street on 441, and I think it was worth it. It's something, something amazing to see. You don't get to see something like this every day. Finally, an alleged professional shows up to facilitate the arrest. But with passers-by recording it all and volunteers stepping up to assist, uh -uh. the suspect tells them all to shove off but not to be outdone by a giant Gucci purse. Our intrepid law enforcement officers turn to plan B, a new and improved bigger and better noose. I was impressed the way law enforcement handled it. Uh, I know there's a lot of upset people trying to get to work or get through traffic, but uh, they were real cool about the situation. Finally, all good cheap entertainment must come to an end. The suspect is overpowered and bound with handy-dandy duct tape and hauled away to be charged with failure to obey a law enforcement officer, resisting arrest with violence and minding his own business. You know, it's my first gator call and uh, probably won't be my last, but, uh, you know, you do it, whatever. We, we get all kinds of calls that we respond to. That's what we're here for. Deputy Mark Warsaw making the arrest, but unfortunately, there will be no bond court hearing for this particular suspect. At nine feet, five inches, he is considered simply too large to be released. In North Lauderdale, Derek Haywood, 7 News.